Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today video, we are going to discuss about manage identities for Azure resources. So let's begin. So manage identities provides an automatically managed identity in Azure Active Directory for application to use when connecting to the resources that support Azure Active Directory authentications. So in simple words, whatever the application sorry whatever the service or resources supports ad authentication we can use manage identities for those particular resources or services so in normal word when when a developer develop any code they have to integrate their code with the cloud services then they have to hard code too many things for example suppose i am developing one applications and i need to uh, for authentication purpose basically i need to have my tenant id client id so those things they have to mention their code but to avoid those things because from the security point of views it's not best best practice to keep those things in your source code itself so to avoid those things basically we use manage identities so basically in simple words it's a uh, another type of special type of service principle which we used it's not available for all the services but it's available quite few services which you can use so there are basically two types of identities which we can use one is system assigned identity and another we have the user assigned identity so system assigned identity is tied to your application and is deleted if your app is deleted if you have created a system assigned identities and it is tied with your applications and in going future if you are deleting your application then the system assigned identity is also deleted Next, we have user assigned identities. So it's a standalone Azure resources that can be assigned to your app and the app can have multiple user identity, user assigned identities. In system assigned, we can have only one per app, but in user assigned identity, you can have multiple. So these two types of identities we can create in Azure. So how managed identity works? So if you see in this particular diagram, I have a one virtual machine, Azure virtual machines. And here we are creating basically the identity of this particular virtual machine will be created in the Azure Active Directories. And in Azure Directories with the so from Azure Active Directory, what we will do, we will assign the identity based role access control to the storage account. And whatever the app we are going to host in this particular virtual machine, once we applied the role based access control to the storage account, this particular applications can access the storage account. So in a demo, basically we will see how we will fetch this particular data from a storage account with the help of uh, uh, application which is hosted in virtual machines. So what we will do in our demo basically we will create a storage account and we will upload few files on that particular storage account and then we will try to download those file from the in the Azure virtual machine with the help of manage identities. So we will see in demo. So let's start the demo. So I am on my Azure portal. Here what I have done, I have already created a resource group called Manage Identity and under this particular resource group, I have one virtual machine which name is M Identity, and one of the storage account I have created. And in this particular storage account, I have created a container called data. So if I go to containers, data, here I have uploaded the one sample text file. So now what we are going to do, we are downloading this text file in the Azure virtual machine with the help of manage identity. So first thing what we have to do. So I'll go to my virtual machine and I'll go to identity. So first thing we have to enable the manage identity on this particular virtual machines. So I'll click on on and I'll save it. So you can see manage identity will be registered with Azure Active Directory. Once it is registered, uh, my identity can be granted permission to access resources protected by Azure AD. So as soon as we enable this option, so basically this virtual machine will register with the Azure Active Directory and we can use it as an identity for the authentication purpose. So I'll hit on yes. So it's enabled now. Now next thing what we have to do because 
we are going to download the text file in this particular virtual machine so for that we have to grant permission to this particular storage account also so here i'll go to access control and here we will add two role one is reader role and one is a blob reader role blob data reader role so first i will add reader role here hit on next now here we have access assign access to so instead of user group or service principal we will use manage identity and we will choose the member here so if i drop down manage identity so i have a virtual machine so it's already came my m identity so i'll select it next review and assign so once this reader role will be assigned then next role we need to add blob data reader role because we are uh, reading the data from the container blob stories so next role we have to add that so again i'll add new role so here i'll search for blob stories blob data reader role so this one i will choose it next again i'll choose manage identity and select member I'll search for virtual machines. So it's M identity. We'll select it. Review. So we have already added two roles. Now what I have to, what next we need to do basically, I'll go to my this particular virtual machine and there is a .NET program basically. It's a sample applications, .NET Core application. So from with the help of this source code, we are going to download the uh, text file. So if I'll go here, so authentication purpose, if you see here, we are using a default Azure credential class. So this one you have to use. If you are using any uh, object, application object, then you have to embed it, all the things like tenant ID, secrets and all. But in this manage identity, you have to simply pass the URL of blob URL and download path where you want to download the particular file. So first thing what I will do, I'll copy the blob URL. So I'll go to my storage account, container, data, and this is the text file. So we'll click on this particular text file and we'll copy the URL. And I'll go back to my virtual machine and I'll paste the URL here. Next, download path. So I'll choose one of the location in my system. So I'll choose temp folder. So here we don't have any data now. So I'll add it. Sorry, I'll add this particular path. So and file name is sample.txt and I'll save it. Now we will run this particular solution file. We'll build the solution file. So build is started. So build one succeeded. Now we'll go to this particular location. So I'll just copy it. Now this is there is a exe file basically which we have to run it. So I'll just run it. So it's showing unauthorization error. Okay, let me run it again. Okay, file download completed. So if I'll go to my temp folder, so here we can see we have a sample text file. So if I add this is a sample text file. So basically that's how manage identity work. So that's all for this video. See you in next video. Thank you so much.